we're team four. This is our project. Scarlet. Uh, Scarlet is always known for being decent. So always being like in top of the game about innovation and technology. One thing that's also taken apart is how the stores are built. If you if you if you see our our lovely model here, you can see that you can see a very a lot of people between the eyes. It's, it's a very it's a very open area. You can you can you can have a lot of people there. That's why it's like a, it's, a, it's a big store. Okay. So why don't we use that in a, in the advantage for color as well? Like if, why if we can use something to help other people to manage that, use that, that the same space just to help a, 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 a specific uh, set of people, okay? And this is our, our outline and how we are going to do it. So first we're gonna uh, meet our persona, uh, persona is the meeting, and then we're gonna check uh, what is the problem he has when he goes to the store, okay? And, and why he likes to go to the store and everything, and then we are going to check for a solution for the problem that he has when he is there. Okay, first we talk about Dimitri. Dimitri, Dimitri has a very, uh, very rare uh, disease that makes him dis disabled in almost his complete body. The only thing he can barely move, he only is, uh, the only way he can walk or go anywhere is with, with his wheelchair that he controls with only one hand. He cannot grab things or can do anything else, okay? So he's very restricted in about all, everything about mobility. He can pick up, pick up things or anything. But the thing about him is he's really an outgoing and chill person. He actually don't go to the store only to because he needs it. He goes to the store because he likes to go. He likes to be, meet other people, be around other people. He only go uh, don't only go because he he's obliged ob ob to be there just for need. He likes to be there just to be normal and be actually he like he would love to be uh, more independent because he because he can grab any other other thing. He feel he don't feel it's very good that I having someone to help. And why why we talk about the problem? And there is the start of a problem. We need him to go by himself. He we need like he a way to him to interact with other people. When he go, uh, he won't, don't like to be there when it's very crowded because he don't, because he cannot control his chair very well. He can manage it, but uh, when there's a lot of people, he becomes a little bit nervous. And, movement, and his movements are not that very fun, so it will bomb into, into person. He don't like that. He, he knows, he's aware of the, per, uh, the people that's around him. He, li he would like to just go and say hi. It, it, his, uh, let's say his communication skills are not the best. He cannot talk, but he can actually talk, and he's very expressive. If, if, if he's happy, he will give you the biggest smile you can, you can, ever, you can ever have. He's a really chill, and he's a really nice person. So the problem that we have is that. We want him to be more independent and enjoy the, the shopping experience well, because he likes to do that. So we, we are trying to give him the new experience of going to shopping because he likes it. He, he even once said that he asked his mother to, to, to if he needs if she needs something from the store, so he he would like to go just to go just to be there. Okay, that, that's a, the solution we have. The solution we have in Cancun it's a very technological one, something that we don't help uh, Colorize to be on top of the, of the game about uh, technology and not only for disabled people, also it can be used in the same, in the same store, can be have a lot of other uses, but it will be, a, let's say, a, a platform to develop, not, not only for uh, use with uh, disabled or elderly people that don't have uh, too many, don't, are not able to move freely. So when you, when you see this, a, a lot of people would say like, if you can, uh, if other people can use this, if people with disabilities can use this, we can actually take take their responsibility to others. So this platform will use uh, will be used by uh, uh, people with wheelchair, people that have disabilities that don't allow them to, uh, to speak other things. This will be, this will help them to get all the all the shopping by themselves, and that's actually what uh, they is looking for. He can go and he can have his time so he can enjoy his shopping. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Santiago. Um, <laughs> perfect. So, um, Rob, you mentioned how Dimitri actually functions. He has a mobile brain, so that means he can't really control more than one function, right? And what does Carly bring in to Dimitri? Well, when you say Dimitri, it's not 
just immigrants. It's all people with disabilities just like him, okay? Or even less. Anyways, uh, what Kwame brings in is three daily components. One, a system of integration where he can schedule his shopping, prepare a shopping list before he arrives at orders. The other is an AG device, an automated guided vehicle, something similar to what Luang said, but in a very simpler form. This is just simply a bed, which can go through the whole supermarket easily. We've talked to our suppliers, a few suppliers in fact, and they're giving us an offer that has an accuracy close to three or four millimeters. This AGV can take on Dimitri, for example, with his wheelchair and put his shopping cart just in front of him so that he gets to know wherever he's buying on. And on top of that, as we've mentioned, he doesn't have the ability to grab things from the, from the shelves. So we're integrating a robotic arm through this AGV so that we can make our cart. Well, this might look a bit futuristic, but it's not. It's already being applied to lots of places, but not in this manner, not in a way that it has attention to people with disabilities. And the best part about this is it's a unique selling point just to call me. Why? Because it's of, because of its statuous weight. Other supermarkets, well, I've been here for almost close to three weeks now, and I've went through little um, action other supermarkets. They're so tiny, you can't even move a cart around if they're not you know, small enough. Coldrick has less capacity to actually impact two lanes of Cardi. And we would like to bring in this technology to Cardi so that it would bring in people with disabilities. Not just people like Dimitri, but even older people who'd like to just jump on with their wheelchair and then move to their supermarket. This is in fact the model that we uh, put in just right there. It's a simple visualization of how we don't necessarily make the, uh, need to make change to the supermarket that is currently right there. And we actually did a few more slides on a 3D model simulation of how this robot is going to work. So Dimitri comes with his wheelchair, but the wheelchair is not like this, it's a motorized one. It's a bit better than this, of course. And he just gets to be on top of the AGV, and there is a system integration where he can pass on his shopping list to the system because he's on board, and it automatically goes, grabs it, and put it, puts it in the basket. We've designed the basket to be a normal basket, like we can use this directly from any supermarket, but of course, cold use. So, we're, we're going through this. What is code actually benefits us? Right? So, first off, it's not that people with disabilities don't exist. It's not that they don't want to come to shop. It's just because the environment doesn't allow them to do so. Right? So having this party will actually enable code to bring in this untapped market share out there. And on top of that, it would actually give a very positive impression on others, which is a value-based impact that you guys are creating, so that people actually get to think, okay, Coldrick is actually helping people who are not able to do that in ordinary shops. And I would actually prefer buying in Coldrick because they're doing <coughs> all of this, right? Okay, it just doesn't stop there. On top of that, we can actually use Cardi because here the wheelchair doesn't necessarily have to be there. It can go through by itself. It can grab and collect things by itself. What's the reverse process of this? Off working hours, stacks of cold roots. Your employees can use this AGV and the robotic arm integrated with Cardi to stack the products onto the shelves as well. Okay, I'm not stopping with this again. Sorry for that. We can also make Dimitri, for example, 
buy shopping for people who are so busy, for example, during the holidays, right? Because, for example, I believe we already have that system. People can order online, our, uh, our, their items will be prepared, and they just grab, pay, and take off, right? Why spend your employees on doing all of this? Carly can do it. Yeah, so that more or less of what we're kind of missing. And well, the, the thing is, the present circumstances don't determine where you can go. They merely determine where you start. And for the music, the, the future might start in the, in the, in the lower as color. And that's all for today. Thank you, thank you.